Tula, she got attacked last night. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the button to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Last night I'm outside picking up tools, working on a garden shed. It's getting darker, it's getting darker. You know, it's like 10 o'clock at night, so really dark. Tula starts to growl at something in the bushes. We kind of live bordering uh, the forest. I'm like, Tula, no. Then she just zoom, she takes off at high speed through the little path towards the neighbors. And literally, as I'm like just picking up the pace, like I gotta get her, I'm sure she's going after, I thought it'd be a skunk for sure, because you like little skunks. And then there was all of a sudden this like this horrible yelp, 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 yelp. You were being attacked, it was horrible. So what do I do? Like any good dog parent, it's 10 o'clock at night, it could be anything. I mean, I just go like full speed. I'm like, I'm, I hear her yelping now, she's in the bushes. I don't know the headlamps, I can't actually see, but I can exactly hear where Tula is yelping. I'm like, so I know there's some animal has got her. Like it could, could be a cougar, it could be a coyote. I was hoping it's something smaller. So I just run in like full speed, wherever little Tula is. And I'm like, okay, I gotta be big, gotta be loud. And I let out like the biggest scream, like, hey! <laughs> it's pretty scary, wasn't it, little Tula? They're scurrying in the bushes. Tula goes that way. I see a little dark blur. She zooms through the bushes off to the right, back to our house. Something else is ripping off in the bushes off to the left. Hmm. And Tula's okay. Tula appears to be doing great. She was favoring her left rear. She definitely had a bit of a limp when she walked in. We, you know, we could see a few little drops of blood. I did a pretty good examination of her. Couldn't find anything serious. I'm, what I suspect is probably a raccoon that she went after. And a small little puncture, because I can't find exactly, I mean, I know she's punctured on her rear, but she's got this thick, tight black curls. I think she's made completely fine. More of the point of today's video is just one, how I instantly like scared, you know, I was, and how you would be for your own dog or your own cat. And then two, I mean, how you're willing to act and react. Whereas, you know, if this was a cougar, some large animal, probably not the wisest thing to just go like full speed, running at the, you know, yelling at the top of my lungs in the middle of the forest when it's pitch black. I mean, mm -hmm. probably better see what it is first. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not waiting to find out. I mean, I, I was just imagining little Tula being carried away. I'm like, Never forgiving myself if that ever happened. The little Tula doesn't always make the wisest choices. Hence, she's little. They're little. You shouldn't be going after wild animals when it's pitch black. She can't see that well. She's got a cataract in one eye. She only has one really good eye. She can't see well. She's small. She's always the bravest little dog. Hmm. That doesn't stop you doing stuff that you would to protect your dog or your cat. I'm just glad she's okay. I actually appeared to be a little bit hoarse this morning. Apparently I was, didn't have the most restful sleep, woke up early, did a little walk around outside through the bushes, didn't see anything. Yeah, it's pretty like, hmm, disturbing. I wanna know, you know, what do you think you'd be willing to do for your own dog, your own cat? Is that a good choice? Bad choice? I think it's a good choice. Little Tula got away and she got into the house. Appears to be essentially uninjured. I mean, I, I would do it again. I don't know. I'd love to hear what you, your thoughts. It's Dr. Jones. Tula. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.